Hi, I'm Teddy with Caravan Film Crews, and today we're going to talk about photos versus video. Which one should you get for your wedding? Super controversial topic, but I think after reading this forum, it's going to make things very clear for you. Obviously, if you're on a budget and you have to pick one or the other, maybe this will help you choose. But if you can do both, I really think you should. We're going to read off from WeddingWire.com, a forum which we're going to post the link to in the YouTube description for this video, um, but it's about brides who regret not having video. Um, and I'm just going to read uh, one of the comments as well as you know some of the subsequent comments that occurred. But here's the original post. Uh, I regret not having video dot 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 rant in all caps. I have no idea why I didn't think more about this. I swear I feel sick every time I think about this. I look at the pictures and wish I could have video. I only have my point of view but uh, if only I would have spent some money on a videographer then all my honeymoon. I just want to tell future brides not to make this mistake. I thought pictures themselves will tell stories, but nope, in all caps. I have so many good pictures, but it's just not the same. I wish there was a do-over button. Blah! Did anyone else regret not having video? Question mark. Or happy you didn't get it? 21 comments. Uh, well, my dad took video at the ceremony and only a little bit at the reception. And my brother had a camera with festivities before. The ceremony was fine, but my dad recorded the toasts, first dance, got my dad and I's dance also, and my dedication to bouquet. But anything beyond that at the reception was just my dad kind of dancing with the camera. So I was a bit disappointed with that. But do understand since he was going around talking to everyone, of course. I don't mind since I have the important parts and really didn't want to spend a ton of extra money for like what, 30 minutes of tape that a pro gives you for the entire day? Maybe someday YouTube can do a vow renewal somewhere fun like a beach or something like something in video that. Here's the thing, I think that there's a perception problem. I think people are used to watching these like 30 to 45 minute hour long, two hour long wedding videos, which nobody watches, not even the bride and groom themselves. It's a super chore to watch. And that's how weddings used to go down. But wedding videos today are more like mini docs or even like Hollywood films sometimes. It looks like a, a director or producer from Hollywood came to somebody's wedding and shot the whole thing in awesome quality, like a movie. That's what wedding videos are more like today. So if you're thinking that, well, I don't want to spend money on something I'm not going to watch, you'll totally watch a 10 minute video that blasts through your whole wedding in awesome, pristine 4K quality um, with the effects, the colors and everything, the sounds that you know you experienced on your wedding, but was actually all a blur. And that's what weddings kind of turn into for uh, the bride and groom. It just, it, it turns into this big blur of all of these moments and things that came and went. But having a wedding video, I mean, it's it's gonna help you capture all that. Um, so the, the actual poster, she replied, she said, some people did take video, but it was of what they wanted to focus on. They focused on their girlfriend or a pretty girl. My husband's uncle recorded, but just got the exchange of the rings, and his video was interrupted by his daughter, which is 26, because she was frantically crying. All in all, I wish I had video. My flowers were perfect, and so was my cake. I just wish I should have got a videographer. You ladies did good by getting one. I wasn't so lucky. Oh well, you live, you learn. Um, video was the third thing we hired. We are definitely having one. Um, sorry you feel that way, husband had to convince me to go for video. I always thought wedding videos were boring until I saw some of the highlight slash music video edits being done nowadays, he told you. Um, so we had video and I'm so glad we did, but there are other things I wish we had not, had not done, so I can relate to your feeling somewhat. Try not to stress, I hope you had a wonderful day. I hired someone to shoot the day for 500 bucks and he gave me the raw footage like three hours. Obviously I don't want to watch three hours of video. No you don't. 
Um, so after the wedding, I interviewed video editors and got them to make a five minute music video, a short of the ceremony and outtakes. It came out to fa fabulous. I paid 300 bucks for the editing after the wedding, which was nice. It isn't as great as some of the ones on here and it is all from one camera angle, but for the price, it's perfection to me. Some of you may think that way. Uh, you know, we come out to a wedding, we bring a minimum of two, but more likely three videographers with uh, three to four cameras because we understand that, look, this thing only happens once. You need multiple angles in order to get the right shot. You can't do it any other way. Some people can come out and make awesome wedding videos with one camera, but if you look at those videos, they're like two or three minutes long. This is just one website on Wedding Wire. I mean, if you typed in regret not getting wedding videos, the first thing that pops up on Google, I mean, there's a ton of hits. Um, there's some videos that people posted about their regrets from not having uh, weddings. And then, you know, on Glamour, I'm seeing right now why 98% of brides say you should definitely get a videographer. Obviously, it's something that people um, definitely regret not having and it's something you should heavily consider if you're already going to spend money on a photographer um, or if you have any extra budget for a videographer it's important for you to go for that anyway so uh, this is just something that i hope helps you make your decision uh, feel free to ch take a look at all of our wedding videos or reach out to us if you have any questions that we can help you out with but all in all, I hope your wedding goes great. I hope you guys have a great time. It's important to have fun. And, you know, I hope you get to relive it through an awesome wedding video or wedding photos 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years from now.